comes around it. There you go. In position. MVP. Gonna come up. Do boo, do boo, do boo, do boo, do boo. Fabby, 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 Fabby. Here we go. Chop it in on the dragon and they'll take him down here. Look at the curve. But the curve pass. Oh, we have to do it. First blood there for the side of back. And now can they get themselves anything in return? Forever with the Blade Fury. Look at just try and turn it around. Can we get solo? We're trying to control and they'll find one in return. The Blade Fury is gonna continue. QO. I'm trapped up in the static, sorry, sorry, the kinetic field. Ends up just being that one. A one for one there, but Vega nonetheless finding themselves the first bird. And they have to make this count because they're losing their tier one bottom. Absolutely. Can they close in? They'll surge forward. Looking for MP with the crush to Thunderstrike as well. They should be able to get away with this one. He'll chomp on a mango. He's got the score. He's going to die. Indeed. He gets the kill onto FM in return. Like, if you don't have armlet at the early stages, you can't really go in, you can't tower dive like we saw FN do there, he just ends up dropping. Oh, mid lane, going with the triple remnant burst onto QO with a rotation from Shoma, they're going to try for this one. Look at the turn around with the shackle, Dubu's there with a paralyzing cast, but he's going to be in fact Vega, finding themselves a second. They'll say, Wish Dogs, you want to come in, we'll take the kill. Double kill for Shoma the Slayer. And this time, it's Vega reading the movement of MVP very, very nicely, and QO just Laning phase, and I think they started off with the Juggernaut, but as soon as he, he leaves, it's fine. Like, either way, Darkseer is going to be able to get some farm. Shermo is going to walk into this bit of support on support action here. The backup coming through from Fareb. He's not going to get kickstunned here by the Earth Spirit, but nonetheless, closing in onto the Disruptor. They should be able to find it. One more chop on their will. That's going to be one. Now the rest of Vega reacting. They're going to be able to take down Dubu, the Blade Fury from Fareb, biting through the Earth Spirit. It's a two for one. QO on his way out, FN and no one still playing about. Bebby, for M, QO, can they play their way around this one? No one looking to come back in, chains onto a few of them, and FN with a two-man crush. For M, dropping low, but now QO. Watching back no one, Bebby as well, laying down the fire. No one's going to go for the TPL, and they will make it. FN still trying to play games with the Dragon, but QO and Forever are still there. Forever, he's got an Omni Slash as well. And Vega, bringing more in. Shema back into the game plan here. And we'll end uh, uh, there as just a two-for-one trade, but it and are able to retaliate against what MVP are bringing to the game. Smoke up, eyes on mid, here's the roll and it connects and QA's out of mana, gets kicked down into the river. Silent step as well, no one jumping in with the ram, then the chains as well, bringing down the Wind Ranger. Just yet, but I think they're still feeling fairly confident in being able to take this down against the hero is just so unbelievably good for these kind of sieges because you just take no damage. Liquid fire is very strong. They're going to scan, it's going to whiff. But it is daytime, and it's not like they have like the greatest initiation heroes. Kick him from Solo, Static Storm laid down onto Forever as well, they jump straight in, we're going to take out the Jug and they'll find it, the card's coming back in return, MVP, they're looking to turn this, the Doom's been dropped onto Ember Spirit, they'll find one in return, Solo as well, walking back in, drops on the Magnet Touch, but he pays with his life, there's a buyback from no one, they're really looking to try and take this fight, Q1's going to go down as well, but he does bring himself a double kill on the way, they'll claim MP by looks no, he's actually going to draw himself down to the bottom, and he's managing to walk this off with the Scorched Earth, no one a Mag chasing it, Remnant again, they'll take down the Doom as well, Vega find themselves more, does cost them a buyback, but a buyback that certainly was worth it indeed, and 11 and a half minutes in 12 to 7. Leading in from the Disruptor, Max joining the cause as well, we'll see if... Uh, oh, they got the blink too. Yeah, if they can get a catch out here, they will. Jumping in, crash onto QO first, to give it a remnant, no messing around, looking to take down this Wind range and they'll get him. They'll find one, the rolling, it's going to get the snow onto Febby, and now bringing the silence onto the Witch Doctor, Doobie trying to run it off, he's not going to make it into Crush, a double kill for Mag, MP trying to go against no one, but no one's got backup from Mag, who vacuums him back in, they're looking for the Doom as well, Vega, they should be able to get it, they get themselves a third. Vega now, taking the tier one down in the mid lane, and striking back hard, and MVP of what's going on in terms of Vega's movements, indicating for a wrap round, FN's going to try it. Well, they know this, MVP playing safe, maybe not safe enough because they caught out MP here with the glitch back and MP out of the fight, no one jumping into the back line, and now the roll of the show and the silent on to two, they may lose no one, but Q is going to go down, it's a double kill for no one as he keeps himself alive on the other spirit, and they get the crush, amplified down as a friend, the wall dropped as well, a four bomber at the side of Vega Squadron, maybe the last man standing, but he's going to get punished as well, dragged back in by the vacuum, it's a team wide for Vega. Everyone surviving on minimal health. And Vega here in game three. Third health, Rosham. They're still coming over, Vega. Solo. 
Uh, can he get himself in in time? Now he's going to go down. MVP should be able to play with the kick. Actually, live for a ball. Looking on the first but no, MVP get it. The standing storm. Kinetic field getting laid down. MP removed from the first back. Fire. Fire. As well. The dead board though coming out for Zuma. Trying to get back against the vacuum. Tracking Q up up onto the cliff. But Rem getting taken down by no one. No one at this point. Just doing so much. This drum perch is working out for the frequency of these early fights. Shackle flies through. Is he going to connect to FN with the change? They will in return. Zuma and Fabi caught up. The age is going to be taken down and the win range is and if it gets the cross on the Fevy TP, cancelled, the fourth down, it's only Q and left alive for Solo, over to the high ground, the Shackle Show will be there for Q, and he gets the patch on the Earthmere, will take him, but again, Vega wiping MVP! <laughs> Another incredible team fight here for the side. Aegis or not, they'll still take them down. So it is definitely a good item on him. The attack speed also helps for bash procs. And MVP are down here in force. Oh boy, but Vega, they're ready. FN jumping in. Crush onto Ferev. The kick's done as well. Solo rolls into the middle of it. All the static stuff be led at the back. Oh! oh, four into the kinetic field. And the back to touch. Ripping through the MVP. Getting ripped to shreds. Doobie drops the TP out. He's not going to make it again. A third team wipe in a row. MVP. Oh my goodness. Where's your map, Sander? I don't know, it's tough. Sometimes it's tough to do math. <laughs> but... Oh no, he had a kilo, that's why. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had a oh, kilo okay. aura. That's that's yeah. why I was like, wait a minute, he just had it a second ago, yeah. and then I realized he was standing. No, he's 15 with a kilo on. Anyway, forget about the maps. We're all about the murder here. And the destruction of Wimrangers. <laughs> Vega continue. Yeah, this lineup is actually extremely good at killing that hero. Something that I didn't really touch on too much, but Wind Ranger is not so good against pure magic damage. Hey, Febby. Back to base for you, my boy. Just had another one there. Pressure being applied on the top lane. Tier 2 is already down. We'll see how far MVP want to go in terms of knocking on the door of Vega's base. No one already jumping in. And the chains up to Febby. He'll hold him back with the Yule Scepter and Brev coming in as well. Looking for no one, but he rammed us away. FN tag team in. Crush onto two and now the static storm. Trapping up for Ev. FN closing in. Mag coming in with a vacuum. Dropping it. Catches out the jug. The kickback. The pull in from Solo. It's going to be another two for the side of Vega. 36 to 9. It feels like Vega have taken the effects of what happened them into game one and game two, put them together, and then just slam them straight back in the faces of MVP here in one match in game three. Yeah, it looks like we're about to hit that average 25 to 30 minute game mark as well. There we go, the kick's on point, and catch out MVP, rolling for Mag, coming in to join in the fray. A third one down, no one now on a wicked sixth streak. The We'll see how well they're able to react. They're going to have Joe back up in a second. He's got the Omni Slash. There you go. They'll take the tier three. Do they want to try and stick around for more? Nice juke out of the slide of the uh, Zering. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the Shackle Shot. But no one there with a slider fist. But FN's in defuse. Gets forced away. Omni Slash going to bear with the Glimmer Cape. Going to keep him alive for the time being. Remnant out. Remnant in. Remnant out from no one. Back to working on oh, the Shackle. The shackle. It connects. They'll lay down the fire for Rev. Again, caught in the static storm. No, can they bring down this jug for a second time? And they will. But Rev's gone. They do lose the Ember Spirit, but no one's got the Aegis. He's ready for another round. QO, looking for the shackle. Is he going to connect this time? And now with the juggernaut gone, Vega, do they want to try and go back down the mid? Still, being just very, very hesitant. Vega, they really do not want to throw this advantage that they've got at the moment. Chains catching Febby and, and they're forever out. But still, I mean, we're seeing at this point, Vega, they can just do this, go in and out, in and out, and there's no lot of MVP do, do some stopping. In fact, they'll go in, vacuum, on the three, oh. the wall drops as well, left hand coming in with a BKB, look to take down 105, Febby, and now Ferev, trapped in the static storm, because they field as well, can they finish off this man? He will go down, they'll find themselves the third, there'll be a buyback from Ferev, trying to get himself involved in the fight, FN, getting the crush out onto Q, the slider fist as well, as a double kill for Mag, and now no one, with the chain onto Ferev, and MP, Solo rolls in, Q, will get the shackle though onto the Earth Spirit, and they'll take down Solo, but it did cost them by Backs. Vega did find themselves the completion of the racks in the middle and no one jumps straight back in. So the change, FN now with the crush, onto 3-3, the vacuum all over for MVP. GG is cool, boys. But, you know, you think back to old Vega when they had Pasha, they love to pick their Ember Spirit. We Dubu here with the shockwave, the, the stun as well, but Dubu bites himself free of the tree line. He's going to be fine there, reaching back up. Mid lane, no one. Starting to move in again onto MP, and MP is in a little bit of trouble here. MP falling low. Oh, he's going to get himself out with a tango. He'll be fine, but meanwhile, bottom lane, that's where the first blood's going to be going. They'll find one. They do get a kill in return. The question is, can Vega try and get a second for Rev? Going into the tree line, he's not going to make it.
And Vega, they'll take a two for one train, including the first blood going to their side there. Mansa, he's got the backup of the disruptor as well, with a couple of points in glimpse. Shema, very much in a position to set this one up. They even TPing in as well. Mag, looking for the setup onto MP, dropping the sprout, glimpsing him back and bringing him down. Nice gag, rotation there from the side of Vega squadron, hanging around. Just to spell it on the disruptor, but Vega, they're just going to move back around down towards the bottom. Bebby and Perev in foresight, and they'll grab the little glimpse onto Bebby, trapping him in the kinetic field. Stomp coming through onto Perev, and now FN trying to move in with the right clicks. Max TP'd in as well. Shoma, he is going to tick down this time. Well, the question is, can Vega continue to take a favorable trade? They'll find one. It's ground to Perev, but he bites his way through with the Quelling Blade. Signing up just a one-for-one -one trade there between the two. Oh, tried to go for the stun to secure it, but it isn't going to be the case. Nice touch from Mag there to deny the out of that extra bit of bonus gold. Secure, of course, at the moment, already at the top. 4.6k as expected with a safe lane farming out. Mid lane, though, MP. Trying to move for the smart TP out. He will make it the same time. Bottom lane, no one chipping away at the wish, but he finds one for Red. He's trying to dive on Tempen. Will get the kill with the score stuff. He walked himself away from this one. TP from Mag looking to cut off the Doom. Has got the Sprout ready and waiting, but of course it's not going to be that much use of it for him. He's got a Quelling Blade, but maybe if he uses it like that to just block off the entirety of the path, it would have had a chance, but for him, smartly just walks all right around the other way. Looks like the answer is going to be rotating down QO. He needs to be careful though, they have Glimpse. Oh, or I guess uh, Shioma wasn't quite close enough. He was actually charging up a concoction. Throwing out onto two, but as you said, this disruptor's looking for the play in a great kinetic field. Static Storm onto two. No moving onto QA. He's trying to arm this other way out of this one, and he will make it MP with a poison over the chain frost as well. Bouncing amongst them all. The Doom onto Solo. This could be the turnaround that MVP need. No one's going to go, and there's going to find a third. MVP there with a massive poison over chain frost. Just slowing down the advance of Vega, and they're going to maybe find more as well. Shoma tried to hide up in the tree line. They dropped the kinetic field, try and run himself away from the Doom, but he's going to run into an out. Concoction onto the man's head, and it's going to be a 4-1 for MVP. Radiant, That's Fantastic really... Defense from the Koreans. That is really bad for Vega. That is actually, like... So they'll know what's up, and it's not necessarily the quickest Roshan from MVP, so there will be a chance to contest it, and here we have it. Vega coming over, Static Storm, it's going to trap QO and for FQO, blocks the armlet on, Mag trying to get in position, but the Chain Frost bounces, they're out. Poison over as well from MP, the Death Ward laid down, biting into Solo, no one's been duped up, they found one, there's going to be a buyback from Solo, no one's going to drop as well as MP claims himself a double kill. There's three down, one buyback from Vega to bring him back in the fight. FN trying to find Febby, but MVP just surround the poor Drow Ranger. They beat down on FN. They'll find him as well, and Solo with that buyback, not going to be able to achieve anything here. And MVP, they head back into the pit. Let's see what Vega can do in response to this one. Sprays to us laid down. TP in from no one. We'll see if they can try and punish this out to play, but out. He's got an Aegis. If they kill him once, and I mean, even that, that's a tall order on its own. They will glimpse him in though. Chain Frost coming in from the high ground. Perev, he got stiff back, but the bounces are real. The Kokotcha thrown down onto Shoma. They'll take down the Disruptor. The Static Storm, they're just going to walk out of it. In fact, Kyo walks back in. He says, oh, it's more of a... So booster. Sometimes we see other stuff like uh, AC, for example, just to give you the extra armor when you're going to high ground. Or sometimes people even by heart, depending on what time of game it is. There we go, jumping in. Death or down. FN's been doomed and he's out. Quick one for MVP. All right, Drow Ranger. It was uh, closing in on the money for the BKB, but as you said, maybe even at that point, not going to offer too much. Jumping from Ferrer, harassing back the Viper. So look to just go on this tier three solo. He's trying to do what he can with the impetus, but he's been gailed up. And now just the illusions coming in with that radiance burn solo being forced back on the edge. A blast from the lich, and this illusion might just do it with the tick damage. And he does QO now dominating forever. Infernal blade drops onto no one. He'll turn for the chain frost. It's going to be thrown out. I'm not going to bounce at all here. The forces the viper away from this defense. Radiance bottom. MVP with the crimson guard out. More than enough space to try and finish off this rack. Cure gets glimpsed back, but he just walks it back in. Nothing to follow through there on the disruptor play. And it will be a full set of racks going down on this bottom lane by the looks of it. In fact, they'll leave the range for the time being. No one gets caught out on the front lines. Buyback on solo and no one here looking for the defense. But it's going to be an incredibly hard one with the strength that MVP have at this point. And MVP will leave it at that. They'll take the melee racks. Bring the TP out on top. The rap was going on. Where Mag managed to find himself a ranged Rax. We'll see if he can find anything else here. MVP actually sticking around to fight. They know that if they can try and kill some of these heroes for a second time, forcing out you know, a situation where dieback's are there, and there is one. 
as they take down no one on the Viper. The uh, Nature's Prophet is going to be killed, but he has got buyback available here. And he's going to go straight back top. He's looking for the route here, Mac. He wants to try and find something in return. But MVP, they may find something even more big. And even bigger than that, the Mac can wrap. It's going to be two heroes down without buybacks available now. Mac did manage to finish up the full set of racks top. But MVP, they're onto the tier 3 mid. Yeah, they're onto the racks as well. Looking to try and find themselves a second. Shoma just laying down the kinetic. And FN trying to chip away at QI, but Fred just jumps straight in. Onto the drought range of the poison over coming out as well. Blast from Legion FN's down. Three dead now. No buybacks available. The Koreans are doing it. Mag, he's trying to go for the tier four, but they're just gonna call it GG. Well played. So going into this tournament, a lot of people say keep your eyes out on these. A lot of pros.